Hello everyone, this is Sean, and welcome back to episode number 8 of our Capitalism Lab Sean Co. Let's Play. It is April of the year 2000. Our company has about $75 million, and when we left off, we were looking at building an additional retail store for furniture here in Lisboa, because our factory is just producing way too many beds, and we need to figure out some way to get rid of them. Um, maybe I can export these beds to another another city. I don't know exactly how the exporting thing works. I also don't know how much my furniture is going to um, cannibalize, like how close I can have my stores with, without them cannibalizing each other. All right, so we got 21 right there for about nine, for about $10 million. 27 right there for a little over $10 million. I think I'd rather have that 27 for about it's a pretty close price. And um we will use the uh that one plan that was working pretty good. Like it. And we're going to purchase beds from here in town. I say the beds from here in town. There we go. And we will link this one up to all cities get some of those chairs looks like those are going to be the ones see the freight is really cheap to get those in here and of course those sofas that we have too many of oh turns out we don't really have too many sofas anymore in uh in hamburg but you know what i'm going to connect to that one anyways because we need to be selling stuff here now, see, it'd be nice if it would start with the training at the at the training level that I had set at the corporate headquarters, instead of starting it at zero every time. I don't think I really need to pour any more money into advertising. Uh, advertising seems to be doing pretty well for the city. Let's speed it up until they get to get some of this some of these sofas through here. I don't know why they're taking so long to purchase. Do your job, purchasing team. There you go. Great. Let's uh, link through to here. Make sure we have all of our prices in sync, which we don't seem to. Now, why is it? Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, 45 from our competitors, and we're at 50 something at 355. We're at 50 at 385, actually. I could I could do that. Like that, that'll work. And oh no, that won't that won't do it. That'll do it. Over here we are out of sync, that's for sure. Uh we are the only game in town really, so we can charge kind of whatever we want. We'll just do that at one fifty nine. And then going back here. And checking out product number three. So they have a 44 rating for their, theirs. Ours is a 58. So we can actually bump that up a little. 53 is still way better than anybody else has to offer. Looks good to me. $72 million now. So we've basically made all the money that we just spent on uh, getting that store going. We've made that much in profits while we were setting it up. So our main store is up there. It is very well located. How about we try, now Chengdu doesn't seem like it's gonna make a lot of money trying to sell furniture. We've already got furniture in Hamburg. Bordeaux, now see everybody's going into recession and unemployment and stuff, so. Uh, good, uh, good time to, uh, uh, well, good time to buy stuff, good time to buy stocks, good time to buy buildings. I could buy that radio station. <laughs> I wonder how much they want for the radio station. $250 million. Yeah. Well, I'm not even going to waste your time. Sorry. Sorry for the time that I did waste. Let's, uh, see what happens with this retail store. Elisa, if you're yelling at the screen, it's too late. I'm already going to do it. 
Now, can I learn a lesson from my last thing where I set it up in the center of town and realized I can't really set up any other stores? Because that's what happens when you start with like the 50 whatever. Uh, I am going to learn a lesson because I'm going to start this one over here. And we're going to go with bookmark number two. And we're going to hook these up in the manner that we are accustomed. Uh, we're going to change the suppliers. Well, now, why does it say F2, but then when I hit F2, it doesn't do anything? Oh, I see. Well, hitting F... Oh, oh, okay. I guess that sort of makes sense. Um, great, there we go. So, my Lisbon factory. Look at that, $68. You're killing me. I can't afford that. That would make them like $350. Oh, gosh. So it must be, maybe it's an export thing from Lisboa? Does it give me that information anywhere? It doesn't show anything about... Uh, well, I'm not very happy about that. Uh, but you know what, I mean, this this game is all about practicing and kind of getting familiar with the, you know, this, this playthrough is all about practicing, getting familiar with those things. Um, But you know, I do need to be selling those those uh <laughs> I do need to be selling those beds too. Now why doesn't it uh why didn't it keep that information from the last time I was in here? Alright then, I guess we're gonna bring in uh, bring in these stupid Lisboan beds. We're not gonna make much money off of them. I'll bring in these as well. And we'll set up some advertising. Advertising, that looks like the best deal right there by far. And 100 grand will work. All right, and making good money on these sofas. And that's before uh, uh, before building up a brand rating. So, you know, we're still making a profit on these beds, so I guess I can't really complain. We're making a pretty good profit, actually. And, uh, boy, we can make a huge profit on these chairs. And we'll see what happens there. And, uh, well, we did lose a little money now. I guess we're not really losing money. It's more that uh, uh, we're just not making as much. There's our stock holdings. Those are not doing so well, that's for sure. Uh, Serpentine is dropping, which is nice to see. So we can't afford to buy any. But uh, look at dual power is way down. Um, why don't you buy up some more of that there, Sean? Yep, thank you. Buy low. Sell high. Um, you own Loop. You know what? Why don't you sell that too? And buy up something that's going to be low right now. That should, like Moonbeam. Moon, Moonbeam looks like a good buying opportunity. Well, how about you give me a number I can work with when I click on this? Ah, of course, I don't have enough cash. There we go. Thank you. All right. I can't buy that much now. Would have been nice to be able to get that one tenth of one percent of their stock, and I know it sounds like I'm being sarcastic, but that was actually sincere. I don't really want that one. I still feel like Target Strike is a is a uh, is going to recover. My stock's recovering quite nicely. No loans, of course. All right, good. How's our uh, how's our research coming along here in Chengdu? About halfway. Will it tell me if I hover over it? No. Nope. It's all right though. We got we got a little time yet until those come to fruition. Stores seem to be doing pretty well. 
Still not building up any inventory. No spare inventory here in the sofa factory or in the chair factory. Now, why is this guy still only level one? Got to be a leather shortage. Uh, let's see if we can get to our farms. Nope, that's not a farm, but that is a farm right there. Supply, process capacity. All right, so we just don't have enough processing capacity to process all the leather that we need. So we will do processing. We'll do that. We'll select product to be leather. All right, so maybe we're not going to be able to set up a, uh, a beef factory necessarily. We might have to turn this just into completely into a leather factory. Put another cattle down here and then an, another processing unit right there. And or we could well, we could put another cattle here and uh oh yeah, and a processing unit here and we could put another cattle here and connect those up. So I bet you three processing units could handle five cattles. So let's leave this alone and see how it does. How's this doing? Quality 50 cotton, that's nice. Flax doesn't seem to be moving so fast, so let's uh, let's clear that out. I'm gonna go ahead and clear one of the cottons out because we're not, actually I'll go ahead and clear them both out. I don't care. Look, they're just gonna fill right back up anyways. That's like one harvest, it fills up two. So it's gonna take a while before that sows though, so. Matter of fact, it would probably wouldn't hurt for me to start farming tobacco right now. We're gonna do a farm. We're gonna go with a large farm this time. It's fine. Although I Probably should be doing this in. Uh, mm, can't just like destroy it, can you? Or undo it? Oh, yeah. I could relocate it or demolish it. I still own the land. Yeah, you know what? Demolish it. Yes, that was. I made a mistake. And uh, I can sell this land. Nope, I'm going to hold on to it. It's going to be an investment. Um, but over here in Chengdu, let's try, let's, we're going to set up our cigar stuff here in Chengdu. Um, so let's do our farm. Oh, gosh, dang it. I, I'm so, I don't need a large farm for tobacco. But I was going to grow eggs on that other, or not eggs, but chicken, and I guess eggs on the other farm. Oh, well, doesn't matter. So we have crop growing and we're gonna grow a crop and it's gonna be tobacco. Select and we'll just do inventory and we'll do sales. And we'll get you set up there. And then we'll put another factory here that will make the cigars. And I guess Another factory to make the cigarettes? Seems like we should be able to make both in the same factory. Well, you know what? Let's make both in the same factory to start with because there's no reason not to. And then uh, if we have to uh, uh, build additional factory to increase production, uh, we can do that. And, and it won't require any changes because they both use the same ingredients. It's just wooden, I mean, uh, paper and, uh, and uh, tobacco. Um, I guess we have to. We'll probably manufacture the paper on site for now. So that wouldn't be too difficult of a layout. You have wood producing paper, and then paper can connect here and connect here and connect here. Then you have tobacco coming in here, and it can connect to all of those. So that doesn't leave us any room for inventory. 
not that connects up to a sales spot. If we have paper and then tobacco, we could produce in those two squares and we could do inventory and sales and then that leaves those squares undone. If we have paper here and tobacco, no, that's no good. Paper here and tobacco there, that puts us in the same spot that we were in before. We could have another tobacco purchasing down here. Just have two tobacco purchasing and three manufacturings and one um, inventory. Of course, that would only work for one product and we were gonna wanna have two different products. So with two different products, we're just gonna have to go direct sales. So yeah, no, no inventory on the uh, two different product factory. All right, we're at 60 million. We also have the clock running at like the slowest speed this whole time. Sorry. Oh, look at Shanko. We are taking off while everybody else is sinking, suffering from the uh, recession. We are uh, growing stronger than ever. And uh, I'm happy to see that uh, my own character's personal profit is doing fairly well too. Well, Round Petal's doing all right as well. Moonbeam is recovered sort of checker wafers or whatever they are it's doing great so it's bigger power how about loop oh look at loop loop is uh recovered as well look at moonbeam has recovered most of its losses probably a good time to sell and, and then reinvest that money in something else they can't buy any uh Oh, there's public shares of uh, of uh, Serpentine available. Oh, geez, I spent that much? Well, I didn't. Uh, that's okay, though. <laughs> Yikes. I didn't mean to spend $70 million. Oh, my gosh. Um okay though i think i think we'll be okay uh oh that was a lot of money i don't need to i don't need to rush through these things all right well let's uh turn the speed up and not not sit there and obsess over the stock market actually i probably should watch that fairly close because i might want to sell some of it uh we bought at 777 oh boy On the other hand, it's probably worth holding on to. There's so little of it available. I wonder what kind of dividends they pay. Looks like my target strike. No, target strike is not doing very well at all. My personal wealth is doing all right, though. How about that moonbeam? Yeah. All right, let's focus more on uh, what's going on out here in the real world, quote unquote. Uh huh. Um, oh, annual stock dividend. Yes, yeah, see, I'm not getting any stock dividends from anybody else, am I? Hmm. Round pedal uh, destroyed some, uh, just sold some of their stores altogether. Let's go take a look at how's our how are our new stores doing here? This one's making a profit. That's good. Building up quite an inventory of beds, but you know, what if you can can you set a? I don't want to. I definitely do not want to clear stock. Can't set a limit on anything like that or anything, can you? It's too bad. And uh, this place has still got way too many beds. Can I just shut these guys down? I don't need to build anything else. I guess I'd, I would have to turn it off. Uh, but I think that's worth it because we have so many. I turned that into advertising. I meant to turn it into none. I'm glad the advertising is super cheap. 
All right. Well, this was a uh, ambitious project that, uh, um, you know, did not do very well. Well, I, I, you know, it's frustrating that it sets the prices so high in all the factories. Yeah, it'd be nice if I could go to my manufacturing section. Um, oh, that's all right, though. All right. Uh, now, that's, you know what? That's not what I'm trying to do here. What I'm trying to do here is go to this factory and then just lower the price. Right click to decrease at a higher rate, but I think that's going to go too fast. No, it went pretty good. So, like, I'd rather have my uh, factory just, like, break even. doesn't really need to make a profit because I want my profits to be in the stores. Right? I don't know. We'll find out. We'll leave this one cheap. Maybe that will reduce the uh, the cost of shipping. Seems like if that's the case, that would be kind of kind of gamey. Uh, how's this store doing here in, in uh, Bordeaux? Yeah, it's really struggling to make any money, and by struggling, I mean it's losing a lot of money. But it also can't seem to keep up with demand. So what's going on there? Uh huh. Yeah, of course I don't have any inventory of those items. Ah. Uh, um. No, keep going. There we are. Uh, even this guy's not turning out any extra sofas, and all the chairs are coming out of here too. Well, that's good. Means we're selling. Selling all our stuff, but it also means that our our outlet here in Bordeaux is not going to be able to uh, sell any of our fancy uh, frou-frou American chairs or German chairs. I guess they are brand is is uh, strong. Well, we got lots of money again. Let's uh, let's head to Chengdu and see how R and D is coming along. So you know what, we are about to be able to start. Um, uh, going to be able to start manufacturing cigarettes, which we can then start selling. And um, we'll be able to set up our convenience stores in the wealthier towns. So that's some exciting news. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching. Uh, it's been fun. And uh, although I'm still a little, you know, I'm still remembering the nuances of this game and how to uh, kind of do it properly, uh, I feel like we're doing pretty well. Um, if uh, if you have suggestions and thoughts, leave them in the common area down below. Do keep in mind that I recorded this on Sunday, and I won't uh, make any new episodes until this coming Sunday. So uh, all of these comments that you're leaving, uh, I appreciate, but I won't be able to put them into effect until like episode 12 or 13 or whatever the episode would be. Um, uh, but thank you for commenting. I appreciate it. And uh, tell your friends. Uh, yeah, if you want to suggest my channel, I did make a commercial uh, the other day on Saturday or Sunday, I guess it was, and uh, uh, posted that. So, you know, you can show your friends, hey, check out this guy, he's funny. Uh, and uh, the commercial does have one joke in it at least. Uh, so that's good. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Bye.